Hi, I'm Katarina Johnson Thompson, and you're watching SBTV Sports Biz. <laughs> I found the whole Olympic experience kind of um, surreal for me. I think um, the very first moment I stepped into the tunnel it was just overwhelming, the support from the crowd, from everyone, just because the cheering for like, because we've got a GB flag on, it was just something I'll never ever forget. And yeah, the whole Olympic experience, I'm kind of fortunate because I did the heptathlon, I've got two days, two full days out there, so I can really absorb it in. So it's just been amazing for me. Um, well, I've got three top favourite moments out of the whole Olympics. Um, I don't know which order they're in, but um, it's definitely when I very first came off the tunnel because the call room's kind of soundproof, so you don't really understand like the, the how loud the crowds are going to be. So when we first come through the tunnel and then everyone sees other GB athletes out there and the crowd like sort of um, just got ten times louder, and um, that was one of them. The second one, I think these are the top three moments of me, best moments of my life as well. The second one was um, the 189 jump, which is the personal best for me. The whole crowd was doing a dun dun -ch, like that, like that sort of clap. And um, I managed to get over it. And then the roar was like 80,000 people. And the heptathlon high jump was the only thing what was there, the, um, the only event I was in the stadium. So it was like full attention. And that was, that was a good moment. And the final moment was, um, the victory lap. I think I was I was really emotional, and then I was I was crying. It's meant to be like a happy experience, but I was just completely overwhelmed. Everyone was given just a standing ovation on the feet, and I was just it was it was amazing. Well, this is my first senior international. It's not just my first Olympic. So the biggest crowd I've competed against before this has been 8,000, which was at the UK trials. So this was literally 10 times more because it's 80,000. Um, and I think yeah, I think I, I sort of got into it at first because. Fortunately, because of seven events, I think if it was just me doing rounds, the hurdles, after the hurdles, I settled into it. Um, and the high jump, yeah, I've just sort of tried to enjoy the experience and not have too much pressure on me. Um, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's been great. Definitely the home support definitely benefited me performance. Um, I think I got four personal bests <laughs> um, and one personal best overall in the heptathlon. Um, and obviously that doesn't, it's very hard to do that within a heptathlon. Um, yeah, because I think it's just sort of they're cheering for you kind of thing, especially in the 800. It was really strange. Like I was coming over the last bend and you could hear the crowd getting louder and louder and louder and you just, you can't not like get better. You just, it's it's really, yeah, it's never experienced anything like that in my life. And it was just so good to be able to perform to a good standard in front of the home crowd. I'm showing my support for Team GB by wearing the scarf. I think I'm wearing it on my wrist at the minute. so. You can get it in the camera because I'm holding the microphone. And the scarf's a great way um, for the supporters to help the athletes. I think you can get it from Next and the official team GB store. I think these initiatives are very important. Um, I was a bit nervous at first that after London 2012 was over, everyone was just going to forget about sports. But looking around the atmosphere in the park, I think everyone's really getting into it. And especially the Saturday night when we got the three gold medals, that was a day I think everyone was going to remember. Yeah, I've just actually been on a media day and a lot of the people in the queue was like, oh, sign the flag, sign the flag. I brought loads of people at the scarf also to sign. So yeah, I think loads of people are obviously getting into it and really helping the athletes. I definitely want to continue to progress into the senior level it's it's all right being a good junior but I, it's to try and um, take that into what Jess has done because she was a good junior and she's a good senior as well um, yeah all the athletes from Team GB the older more experienced athletes have given me some advice a lot of good advice basically from here just to like absorb it all in and um, enjoy the experience and that's what I've done and I made up that it's all paid off. Yeah, it's very it's very easy to compare me and Jessica because we both do the same event, both women from the north of England. And um, yeah, when I got a British junior, she came out in the press saying, "Oh, I'm gonna have to retire when she comes up," and everyone's being like really repeating that to me and saying, "Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do this." And as soon as I crossed the finish line, the 800, got like thousands of tweets going, "Oh, it's Rio, Rio, Rio." So um, I think I'm gonna end up having some pressure to carry on to progress, but I think I've got a lot. <laughs> a lot of training sessions, a lot of work to do before I uh, get to Jesse Standard and hopefully I'm just going to try and focus and train hard to get there. In 2009 I won the World Jutes and then in 2010 I thought, oh from 2009 I was like yeah I'll go on to do this and do that and then 2010 was a huge reality shock for me. Um, I had to see everyone go off to the World Juniors and kind of down on Facebook, deactivated Facebook. I was like I don't want to see any of this. Um, I think that's probably benefited me in a way because I was like so focused to like do well and like show people what I believed I could do kind of thing. Um, yeah, and it's all, it's all paying off now.